hello join for another session of one question a day today's thing is development of tooth the essay question that we going to dis discuss today in the one question a day program is describe the bell stage of tooth development by the help of diagrams and add a note on tooth development the key points for this has to be first is the stages of tooth development introduction list the stages of tooth development give an overview of the bell stage of tooth development description of the bell stage early bell stages describe about the inner enamel epithelium stator intermedium stellate reticulum the uh, morphology of outer enamel epithelium what is dental lamina dental papilla dental sac with diagram the advanced bell stage how the dental lamina breaks down mineralization and crown pattern determination a couple of words about morpho differentiation heart tissue formations all along with diagrams the second part of the question is the root development the root formation give an overview with the introduction for the introduction talk about the hedwig's epithelial root sheath wherein you have to discuss about the formation role of the hcr epithelial hedwig root sheath in root formation who it was discovered and general features and fate of hers with diagram and talk about little about root dentinogenesis root dentin formation also briefly cementogenesis perhaps add a diagram on the formation of single root tooth or formation of multi root tooth with diagrams along with root development and eruptions the last but important thing is add a note on clinical significance talk about enamel hypoplasia enamel pearl formation accessory root development and dilacerations okay moving on first outline the stages of tooth development neatly modify about the bud stage cap stage bell stage wherein we have early bell stage advanced bell stage and the root formation some of you would be comfortable saying it that this first second third fourth fifth so it is individual choice but it is necessary that you include all these five steps carefully next talk about the bell stage brief introduction the bell enamel organ from the cap stage invaginated to form a bell shaped structures by differential uh, differential division the rate of division at different places occurs at a different speeds giving rise to this early bell stage the early bell stage has four prominent different layers the inner enamel epithelium tall columnar cells that later differentiates to form ameloblast that give rise to enamel the stratum medium that is rich in glycogen present in metabolically active cells stellate reticulum star shaped cells due to the extracellular fluid presence that is usually lost during section formation section producing the section of tooth the outer enamel epithelium are low cuboidal cells rich in nutritional value okay helps in the absorption of nutrition across the uh, substrate so the dental lamina or the gives rise to the enamel organ of the permanent tooth the dental papilla surrounds it differentiates into odontoblast and the fibers of dental lax give rise to periodontal ligament all this you have to say where it is the advanced bell stage you have to talk about the morpho differentiation how the enamel organ acquires the shape of the tooth histo differentiation where the cell takes up the functional role so the first has it to dentin is formed by reciprocal induction say what it is the outer enamel epithelium the candidate here has made a small mistake she has put it as he or she has put it as ameloblast here it is the inner enamel epithelium organizing influence induces the underlying cells to differentiate into odontoblast dental papillary cells to form odontoblast that secretes predentin to dentin and this in turn act on the outer enamel epithelium inner enamel epithelium to turn into ameloblast to secrete enamel this future area where this inner enamel epithelium or amylo later ameloblast interacts with odontoblast forms the future dentino enamel junctions give how the shape of the uh, early bell stage looks like mark all the parts carefully though it is you have to appear or complete the whole question in 20 to 25 minutes you have to be very careful draw the advanced bell stage also talk about how the heart tissue is formed 
See, the question, the answer is you have to finish this in 20 minutes. All the root formations we have said it is another half of the question. So, root formation, root formation begins the one first diagram the epithelial Hedwig's root tree formation. The root formation begins the once the enamel and dentin formation reaches the future cemento enamel junction, or once the crown portion is completed, at which the stellate reticulum and stratum intermedium starts to collapse. The inner and outer enamel epithelium fuses at cervical area to form a structure called as cervical loop or what we call it as reduced enamel epithelium, which gives rise to the Hertwig's epithelial root sheath. And this is responsible for the root formation. The cervical loop of both the sides fuses to form the future apical foramen when it progresses downwards. This elongates and undergoes apoptosis, exposing the newly forming dentin to the outer surface, dental sac, which differentiates into cementoblast. And that is where cementogenesis, dental sac, differentiation, cementoblast, cementum. The point here that is missed is about the apoptosis or the breakdown of the epithelial hertwig root sheath, causing the newly formed dentin to expose to the outerlying dental sac. Cell rest of malaceous, after radicular dentin formation, the loses continuity and remnants form cell rest of malaceous that lies in the periodontal ligament and can lie there, triggering cell rest at later point of time to form cystic tumors of the odontogenic origins. The cell rest of serre, early breakdown of dental lamina in well stage, happens in gingiva and these cell rest may survive in gingiva can give rise to cyst and tumors at later phase of life. Prior to the root formation, the root sheath forms the epithelial diagram or the HERS, H-E-R-S, and forms the horizontal plane, forms the epithelial diaphragm that narrows at the widest along the cervical margins, constricts and forms the tooth germ, or rather root for, tooth form, root formation root formation and divides into two or two, three roots. The diagram that has to be drawn is this. The tongue-like extension of the horizontal diagram develops into the tooth with two roots or three tongue-like extension, dividing the entire structure into three roots. The free end of the epithelial diagram grow towards each other and fuse. And the root sheet determines whether a tooth has a single or multiple root. All these points have to be there. Coming to the most important thing, the clinical significance, Talk about hypoplasia where there is decreased uh, uh, amount of ameloblast causing pitting or furrowing a total absence of enamel and hypocal subsequent hypocalcification of enamel. Enamel pearl formation. If the epithelial root sheath remains adherent to the surface of dentin, does not cause uh, opening up, thereby producing ameloblast in excess quality, that is called as enamel pearls persisting in root. Accessory root formation because of the HERS broken more than twice or thrice leading to accessory root canal formation. That is accessory root formation and accessory canal formation. These are the clinical significance that are associated with uh, bell stage as well as development of root. So I hope you can write the, for the question development of bell stage of tooth development with the help of diagrams with a note on root development, what has to be written, what has to not to be written. So you write about the stages, describe about the bell, describe layers, their functions, the diagrams, what it is, how here the mistake that the student has committed, everything has to be corrected, describe in detail. This is a, a very important essay questions that get repeated very often in your exams. Thank you. Stay connected for another episode of One Question a Day. Keep learning.